Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. So I am just about to run into Target. I have a baby shower for one of my friends um, tomorrow and I have not purchased anything. I am gonna just run into Target and get some things off her registry. But what I wanted to do, and I was just gonna show you guys because I thought it was really cool. It's one of my favorite gifts that I received in my shower. One of my friends actually purchased this like I think it's just like a diaper caddy like basket situation and she filled it with um, like I think it was like two outfits from my registry and then there was a elephant in there like one of the um, stuffed elephants that I had registered for and then a what else did she put in there oh she had this custom sign made that said my baby's name so which I don't have time to do obviously right now but it was really cute so I'm going to recreate that for my friend for tomorrow's shower um, and just fill it with some of the stuff. I already got her a gift of like clothes and stuff, so I'll probably just fill this with more like, I guess, necessary stuff. So I'll probably actually put diapers and stuff, like actually what we use it for. So I'm gonna go do that right now. guys um I feel like I have to give you guys an update because that's what I do I just where do I start I had a call with my lactation consultant scheduled for yesterday just I had already had it scheduled um the past like few days like five days or so I had felt like I had another clogged duct which is so painful you guys like those of you who've had them like it's just not it, it's like you you try everything you can to get this pain to go away and then sometimes you can't get it unclogged and it's just like constant pain so I it felt different this time so I actually had called my OB and was like asking them if I should come in I thought it could be mastitis this is also new to me all the feelings like of I guess lactating for for lack of a better word um it's just different like I've never been through this before so of course I'm like this is all new sensations I don't know what's going on with my body like is it normal is it not normal should I be worried long story short I my lactation consultant got me into a breast specialty center and she said you might have an abscess or it could be acute mastitis without the, the flu like symptoms um, usually you get flu like symptoms when you have mastitis I'm here I just got done with my appointment I woke up this morning and I actually felt so much better which is kind of ironic because like I got into this like specialty center and I was so excited to get whatever it was figured out and I woke up this morning and it felt like everything was not back to normal it was still a little tender but like like it was getting cleared up if that makes sense but I already had the appointment so I came in and the doctor confirmed there's nothing going on. And just to give you a background, my mom did have breast cancer. So yes, that was a thought that went through my mind. Um, but I'm good in that department as well. Needless to say, I think I'm becoming a hypochondriac when it comes to anything breast related because I don't know. And you guys know I'm like somebody who truly believes in manifestation. And for some reason, I cannot stop thinking negatively about this whole situation. And I feel like it's producing negative reactions or responses so I'm like really gonna try and focus on like changing my mindset over the next few days because I cannot keep working myself up over this stuff when I should be focusing on my baby and enjoying every day instead of like worrying about like what's happening with my own body hey guys I am back to styling looks um, which I love to do it's like one of my favorite things to do and sometimes I feel like it's easier for me to create a look before I actually wear it so I'm starting to do that again and I'm really excited about it because it's just like a fun creative outlet but I figured I'd share it on my blogs too because I'm posting it on Instagram I might as well show you guys what looks I'm putting together as well um, so this is the first one that I've done in a while and I can't wait to wear this out I just absolutely love this and I feel like it might not be like super summery, but it's like a good summer-esque outfit because it's obviously strapless and you have this like, you can throw this on or off. 
which I think is kind of cool, but yeah, these pants are from Zara. They have like the split seam detail at the bottom, which I am obsessed with. I actually got these when I was pregnant because I was like, I have to have these pants. One of my friends, Tatiana, had them and I was like, these are perfect. They have like a really cool like front seam detail. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll try and find these pants, but I did buy them kind of like in the winter time. Um, and then this is just a top from like, it's really old. I want to say it's from like, maybe like Amazon or somewhere I don't know it's super old but I will find other tube tops like this but I mean they're just pretty basic so there you go I feel like now that quarantine's over like I'm just so excited to get dressed again and not wear sweatpants so that's why the creativity is coming back and I'm so excited you guys guess what in here they finally moved it upstairs and I absolutely love it in this corner just like it adds a little bit of height in that corner um, let me put this I have so much laundry in my hands hold on so I just need to find something with height in this corner I feel like that's missing something um, and then I might need to put like a floor lamp or something over here I can't decide but yeah, we're pretty close. You guys want to help me pick out what Shay's going to wear today? Let me put these clothes back in. Hold on. I try and keep everything pretty organized. I don't really fold her clothes, but I have it like short sleeves, long sleeves. These are like little shorts type things in this one. And then pants in these two. We don't even use socks. We did like the first few weeks that she was here, but we don't use them anymore. So I kind of feel like all these socks are like a waste, but that's okay. Okay. What do we want to wear today? We can do the gray. She wears a lot of white, so I want to switch it up and do like a light gray today maybe these little shorts her clothes I feel like aren't very exciting just because we most of the clothes that she has are three to six months that she can't fit in yet she's just in the newborn stuff right now um so I just bought the easy like onesie since she doesn't really leave the house right now no one really sees her so it's just like easy okay swaddle dropped all of these burp cloths. By the way, I feel like burp cloths are like, we go through so many of them. Like I just washed all of these and I swear we went through all of those like yesterday. By the way, I feel like I get the most done like organizing the house and cleaning everything when I'm wearing her. I don't know why, it's just like the time that I do it. So I usually feed her at 9 a.m. and then I'll do like playtime or wake time and then I'll wrap her up and get most of like the housework stuff done. So I don't have to do it later. So usually like in the next window I do some like work stuff and then I nap in the next window because I do schedule my naps. You guys know that I do this. Um, and then the one after that, Taylor's done working and we usually just like hang out with her. Um, we usually just like put her out on the, like the couch on her, the bobby pillow that she lounges on. So yeah, it's about time for her to eat. So I'm going to go make her bottle and bring these clothes downstairs. We have a second changing table downstairs cause she sleeps in our room right now. So that's, I usually feed her and then change her. Well, actually I'm going to have to change her first because she's and have clothes on right now because we're skin to skin but yeah that's pretty much our 
daily schedule. I wanted to show you guys this sweatshirt. I am wearing pink, which is so surprising. Um, but this is another one of those like sweat suit items from the Misguided Restyled collection that I mentioned in my last vlog. And I really wanted a I really wanted this particular sweatshirt, but they didn't have it in my usual like white, black, or tan color scheme. And I figured since I had a baby girl, she would be dressed in all pink, so maybe I'll just get something pink to match her. So yeah, I'm embarrassing and I bought this sweatshirt because of that. But I have been wearing it and I usually don't like grab for like pink. And it's not like a bright pink, it's like a little bit more muted, so it's not like too crazy, but it is so comfortable and I keep trying to find the white one because they do have it in white but it's just they don't have like any sizes available so I keep like checking back to see if they have it but I do like this pink one and I got this bra from what's it called Hatch so Hatch is a maternity brand and they just launched their like fourth trimester is what they're calling it it's like a fourth trimester product line and this bra is actually a pumping bra and it doesn't have the snaps. You guys know I am not able to nurse Shay if you haven't watched my last vlog, which was really heartbreaking. Um, but I am still pumping and this bra is just pumping only and it's comfortable because it doesn't have the snaps. And you can like pull it up and there's like the two, like you can put your pump thing inside there. But sorry for those of you who do not pump or care about that bra but I just think this one's really comfortable and it's also pink so it matches and yeah you guys know I like to match but I'm about to film a little H&M clothing haul for you guys Hobbs is sitting with all the clothes um, and then of course watching Shay on the monitor she's not sleeping I can see her eyes open and moving around so hope I'm praying that she gets some good sleep because you know we want her to grow. All right, I'm gonna film this little shopping haul for you guys. Right, you guys I've got some new things in to show you I just unboxed this so there's like stuff all over my table but um how cute is this lamp this is the lamp that I am putting in the nursery it is not the one that I had originally purchased but I actually like this one better I feel like it's more minimal and I feel like it'll match a little bit better um I just got this from Etsy and I actually just love shopping on Etsy not only because I feel like you can find some really unique items that is not mass produced so it's a little bit more you know unique like I said so I think that's really cool but this particular lamp is actually from a local um, person who creates lamps in Greece which I thought was really cool so I feel like I'm supporting someone who is 
just like living out their passion. So I'm gonna try and put this in the nursery. It's kind of interesting, like the plugs and stuff, because I mean, it is from Greece, but we'll see. I'm hoping it works. Okay, well, my camera died, um, but I wanna show you these other items that I got in. Um, I already like unpacked everything on Instagram. This first one, I, like, they got me. Bobble Bar got me. So they wanted to do, they reached out to me to share that they're now doing, like, these custom blankets, which I had never seen before. And, of course, they had this neutral color. I, like, I feel like when I think of Bobble Bar, I think of, like, bright colors and, like, just kind of preppy. But I looked on their website at their custom blankets, and how cute is this? Um, I didn't want it for myself, of course. I wanted it for Shay because I just love this so much. I feel like this is just so perfect for traveling with her, just like even just sitting on the couch with her in the nursery or whatever it is. So I had to do it, had to get it. But they do have a lot of different colorways and there's some other like options of patterns and stuff that you can get on their website. Um, so I'll leave that link down below. And then the last thing, I have a friend that I met just through social media, like through YouTube and Instagram. And he created this bag with article goods. And I just think it's like a really cool shape. Um, and the texture, of course, is really cool. It actually kind of reminds me of the Louis Vuitton texture that they have um, on some of their bags. And yeah, of course I accepted this because I feel like this is something that I would wear, just like a really good throw on and go type bag. And it's really well made. Like, it just feels like a really high quality bag, so. Thank you, Stevie. And then last but not least, I feel like I should just mention this because they're out on the table. I um, got these ribbed bralettes from Urban Outfitters because I want to wear them with just like, I don't know, I feel like crop tops like under blazers and under like oversized long sleeve shirts are really like chic these days. Um, I tried this black one on this morning and it just, I mean, first of all, look how tiny these look. Like, it's just a little too revealing for me. Like, I don't really reveal that much. I mean, obviously a bralette is revealing in general, but I just felt like it was a little too tiny. So I'm gonna return these two. Um, but I got this one and I'm actually wearing the black one. I'll show you. So, yeah, this is like what I wanted it for. I just thought it was like a really cool like throw on over it, like, and then throw like something over it kind of thing. Um, obviously, I'm just wearing it here at the house, but it is super comfortable. Um, I like the strap of it. Like, I feel like it just like looks like the shape is really nice and it's pretty thick. So I like the black one. I have not tried on the white one, so I don't know if it's see-through or not. I probably should try that on before I return the other ones, but the black one's nice. So if you're looking for um, just like cute little bra bralette tops to put underneath your blazers or like a shrug like this or just to wear underneath stuff then this is a really good option I think these are really cute hey guys I feel like I'm always talking to you when I have Shay like wrapped up on my chest um, but it's like the only time I remember to like get my camera out but we have another exciting day today we are officially getting the chair that I had ordered for our living room like I want to say I ordered it in like January and it's June so that's what six months which is like forever and it keep getting delayed and it was supposed to come on Monday actually and today's Friday um, and on Monday like during our delivery window the guys called and they said the chair is still not there so yeah this has just been crazy waiting for this chair for so long so I hope it looks good because we've literally been waiting for so long um, for it to arrive and I also ordered a side table for the area which that probably won't come in until next week Which will probably be a different vlog, but I'm finally getting this corner like taken care of so let me show you what I'm talking about So it's this corner This has been sitting open with nothing in it for this long um, Obviously it doesn't look good. <laughs> There's nothing over here. Let me show you from this angle Um, yeah, so we're going to have a side chair. It's like an armless side chair from CB2. And then I'm going to get a new lamp because I don't love this lamp. I'm going to put this one in the other room. And then we were going to put a plant 
in this pot, like another tree, we were actually gonna move this fiddle leaf fig that is proving to not come back. Like I think we've lost this one because we pruned it thinking it would start growing again in the spring and it's literally stayed like that. And it's, you know, spring has been here for a while now and no more leaves have been growing. So I think that fiddle leaf fig is dead, which is okay. We'll just get a new tree. I'm kind of sad about it, but it was our fault for not watering it properly. Um, but anyway, so we're, I, we're getting that chair. I, I ordered a new side table just to like go next to the chair. And then I want to get a new lamp for this corner. Um, and then once those items are in, I have to decide if I want to get anything else. But you guys know I don't like a lot of stuff, so that might be it. Um, and we're going to move this little planter guy back over here and then just buy a new tree for this corner so i believe that's what we're gonna do but you guys know i always change my mind so we'll see in other news i figured i would go ahead and update you guys on my breastfeeding journey because it was like such a big stress of my life the last vlog that i posted um and it still kind of is just because the feelings of not feeling like I was able to, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I do feel more at peace today about not breastfeeding her, not nursing her. Um, I've talked to so many of my friends and so many people and you guys wrote so many nice comments on my last vlog. So thank you so much just for, I don't know, just for caring. Cause I know it's somebody else's life, you know, whatever, but I just, I really appreciate you guys. So like, thank you for that. Um, but I think what I'm gonna continue to do until I make any other decision, cause I'm happy right now. Like I feel like things are going really well with her. We're sleep training. She finally dropped one of her middle of the night feeds. So now we're just down to one feed at like two, 2.30. Um, and she pretty much sleeps the rest of the time, which is great. Um, there are nights that she doesn't, she eats twice, but we're still more close to the one versus the two, which is great. But um, what I was gonna say is I think I'm gonna continue pumping and I know that I'm not getting a ton, but like I am getting some and I feel like that, that little amount that I am getting is helpful. So, and I'm on maternity leave, so I'm not really doing much else, um, you know, so I might as well work a little bit for that and just kind of give her what I can. Um, I have tried to reduce the amount of times I'm pumping, which has been amazing for me mentally because it's, those of you who have pumped know like, oh, I have to get my pump out again. I have to sit there for 15 minutes. And it's just, it sounds like it's not a big deal because especially if you have like a hands-free situation, it's like, I mean, you're pretty much just sitting there while the pump is happening, but it really is physically exhausting. And then just you're mentally like, you're just like tied down almost. Um, but again, it is worth it for her. So I'm just gonna continue to do that while I can um, and just really not make any sort of decision to quit anytime soon. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. All right, guys, it is here. It's actually been here for a few days. I just have not gotten my camera out to film it. But I think it looks so cool. Like that's exactly what I was looking for. And I got the notification that my side table has shipped, so all that's left is to find a new lamp and maybe some like art or like decor or something. We'll see. You guys know I don't, you know, would rather not put anything up, but this corner may need it because it looks pretty open. So we'll see. I also wanted to share that I did get a lampshade in. It's just one of those like pleated lampshades um also ordered off etsy which is like my theme these days apparently because that's where i've gotten like everything um it did come separate so like the shade part which is kind of cool i never would have thought to ship it like this but this is the shade part that you have to like um open and attach it to the like wire thing so let me try and do that really quick
right, that proved to be rather difficult. You have to have two people basically put this like insert thing in and there's like notches in the side that you have to like attach it to the small ring, but it's not perfect, but we got it on. It was really hard. Taylor helped me. He held it steady while I tried to get everything on, but it's done. How cute is that? So I had bought this to put in the lamp in Shay's nursery, which I love that. So I probably will do that, honestly. But now I'm thinking if I buy a lamp, like a floor lamp for that corner, that could be kind of cool over there too. Maybe, I don't know. I have that bowl that kind of looks like similar, so maybe that might be too much of the same thing. So I think I'll put this in the nursery for now and then see what we want to put in that corner. Also to show you guys how chic I look today, my husband bought me these like socks that have like the, um, what's it called, the grips on the bottom. So I've been kind of over wearing my slides, like my slippers, because I wear them every day. I wanted something even more comfortable, so I've just been wearing these socks today, um, which yeah, they're super chic. Um, but yeah, this is another all-white outfit that I wear. Yes, I do still wear all-white when I have a baby. I will say she has had, I feel like this is also TMI because I used to hate when people would talk about this, but she has had one blowout on my all-white outfit before. Um, it came out, so it wasn't even that big of a deal. But yeah, I still wear white around a baby. I just don't think it feels right to give up what I love just because I have a baby. Um... But yeah, this is just a cute little sweater and then these shorts from H&M. I showed you guys on that my, my recent H&M haul. I've been wearing them a lot, so looking cute today. So tomorrow is Shay's two-month appointment with the pediatrician and she's getting her shots. Sorry, I had to pause that for a second because I'm like breaking out of my chin and it's making me a little self-conscious, but I don't even know if you can see it on the screen. Um, but she is getting her shots, which will be exciting because that means that at some point soon we'll be able to take her out into public places. Right now it's just been, we've been able to take her to other people's houses, but just not like a public place. Like she even mentioned like don't take her to Target. And that might be more on the conservative side, but we've just been listening because she's preemie and has a little bit less of an immune system than a full term baby does. But starting tomorrow, we will be able to take her out into public places, which is so exciting because that's all I've been wanting to do. So that is the big news this week. Um, and I don't really know what else to share with you right now. So I'm actually going to end this vlog here and then start filming for the next vlog because I try to do these weekly. They end up being bi-weekly, but I guess that, that is better than nothing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will talk to you guys next time. Oh,